Hello and welcome to the Jet Fighter. In this video, I'll show you how to install the flight simulation video game Jane's Combat Simulations F15 on a modern Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. And now, to install the game, you will need to have the following programs at hand. The Jane's Combat Simulations F15 installation CDs or .iso images. The Jane's Combat Simulations F15's 1.17 patch. The DXW and Windows Hooker compatibility program and its fix or update file. And now, to know how and where to get those programs, visit my website. The address will be at the top of this video. Decompress the mydxwnd.7z file and copy the whole folder at the root of your C drive. DXWnd is a Windows hooker. It enhances application compatibility, video modes, stretch timing, and emulates CD disk data and audio tracks. It is typically very useful to run old Windows games. Do not modify the original folder structure since it is very important for the game to run properly. This will be the main folder where the game will be installed. Put your Jane's F15 game installation CD in your CD drive or mount the ISO image of the game and open the installation program. At this point, select the casual gameplay style. This style can be modified later in the game. Here, select the custom install option since we will need to modify some parameters of this installation. We need to have the whole game installed, so in this screen select the large installation option. Here we have to change the original installation folder of the game to the folder you see on the screen. Let the installation program create a desktop shortcut of the game. Do not open the game yet. Decompress the Jane's patch, .rayr, and execute the file you see on the screen. Once the Jane's F15 is installed, you're ready for the next step. Look for the file you see on the screen and extract its content. You can use WinRAR for that. Now, Copy all the fixed files in the main mydxwnd folder and overwrite all the files necessary. Now, run the f 15 videofixcmd file. This will allow the game to render text correctly. Next, run jinini.cmd. It will generate config ini file for DXWN with correct paths to the game. Now run verify.cmd. This script will check files to ensure everything is installed correctly in previous steps. Next, Look at the F15 part of the results screen. 
everything should be in green letters. Now, run nonglide setup.xe and setup glide wrapper. Enable vertical synchronization and aspect correction. Now, open the main installation folder and execute the dxwnd.cmd file. Finally, double-click on the F15 icon to open the game. Spike, 12 o'clock. Two, group bearing two, two, six, 28 miles, medium, northeast, bandit, bandit. Rhino, threat bearing two, two, eight, 25 miles, medium, 